Hi, y'all. It's Neva. Did you miss me yesterday? I missed y'all. No, yesterday I fought a migraine all day. So by last night, I was ready to, because I, it had just ached all day. And last night it still hurt. And so I took some meds and laid down. And then, of course, restless leg kicked in. So I didn't sleep, but I did just lay here. I didn't, like, do a lot. But I was excited because the thumbnail you're going to see. Mm -hmm. I'll save that for FO, FO Friday. But I will tell you about it. I made a bath set. It is because it's for the Scraptastic. No. Oh, I'll put the link to it for tea dottles. It's, you're supposed to make like, it's the, the theme is spa day and you're supposed to use scrap yarn. I had a bunch of mandala cotton that I had gotten on clearance, comfy cotton that I had gotten on clearance at Walmart and did not know what I was going to do with it. And I've been just sitting there. So I made a soap sack, matching face scrubby and a matching washcloth. Never made any of those before. So, pretty cool. I made that yesterday, so guess who has her crow gel back? I think I needed to finish something to feel, to get it, you know, them juices pumping again. So, I did that. I also finished my, uh, okay, so you know I was doing two for the 2020 challenge, mine and Grandma Benny's. So, I had, I had finished those two. Well, I finished one today because I was doing a hat for Seta's um, crochet along or whatever it is that like the calendar where she follows and it's the colors of their well you'll see it tomorrow because tomorrow's the 20th and I'm going to add that to my 2020 and then donate all of it so that will be my video tomorrow I'll probably record it in the morning so I don't know yet anyway and so that's what I've been up to. Got my Krojo back. A little bit of my mojo. I got some things done. I've, you know, I've been in the funk. And I let it get to me. I think we're allow all allowed to do that, though. And I always, January, I feel it building up November, December. And then January hits. And no matter how hard I fight it, it just hits me real hard. So, been a little better. Not sick anymore. And then mentally, I'm feeling better so that's a good thing this is a mental health sunday so we're not time well we can talk about our mental health anytime we want no i've not gone live i was gonna go live last night and then my head was feeling so funky so let me get to my video because i just keep talking excuse me i would like prayers for my father-in-law because he is in icu he is 80 how old is he been? 82 he's 82 and of course and he's you know declined because that's what happens when you get up in age and he's got some dementia going on but he's in the icu because of a stomach blockage and i don't know if y'all know this but before my mom's mom passed she had been in the hospital because of a blockage hers was caused from diverticulitis and um, then I don't know why, but once they got her stomach cleared out, her breathing got worse. And anyway, they didn't have to do surgery on her, but once they got her all cleaned out, you know, you know how that works. I'm not going to explain it this course, but then her breathing got worse, just like it, she was still in the hospital, literally like they were talking about sending her home that day because her stomach was better. And by that afternoon, her breathing was way worse and then of course she had COPD she was in stage COPD and so she and I took her home to pass and she did a couple days after that so anyway so prayers for my father-in-law would be much appreciated and for my husband because he's never lost anybody close to him except for my mom so you know this is his parents and when it's your parents a lot different so not saying, but we just know he goes, he's been to the hospital quite a bit just recently. And so, yeah, so prayers, prayers that he's okay. 
prayers that they can just fix it without because he won't he probably won't, wouldn't make it through surgery so let's see what else llama mama kayla i don't know if y'all know she um she's on my facebook and she posted that her sister passed and i can't remember if it was yesterday or day before so we should all pray for her she is a very sweet lady who prays i'm sure for a lot of us so keep her in our prayers um I don't see my sisters all that often, but if I lost one of them, I don't, I don't know how, I wouldn't be good. So, today's January 19th. On a Sunday, do shout out Sunday. I'm just gonna, whatever hits me that day is who I'm gonna shout out because I thought I was gonna have a method to my madness and like a, it's not working that way. So, I have one that said, one, I just started watching. Heather has to start somewhere. She talks about weight loss, eating healthy, gardening, exer you know, her exercise. She's just a, she's, she's cheerful. And so when I watch her, I get kind of like, oh, I got to get, it doesn't necessarily mean I go out and exercise or eat healthy, but I did do pretty good today. Anyway, I really like watching her. There's just something about her that makes me happy. And so Heather has to start somewhere. I will put the link below and then there's a new one to our yarn community the yarn hag ryan she does crochet she's very cheerful also um today i was in the mood for cheerful apparently and so she's another one that like i get kind of she's just cheery she's a happy person so um, I'll put her link below. She's well, looking for lots of yarny friends, so go check her out. She made a really cute Valentine blanket, like, well, hearts, a baby blanket, tummy time blanket, whatever you want to call it. Really cute. I watched her video. I think it was today or yes, I think it was yesterday's video I watched today. Yesterday or today, she made a video that she showed her blanket and stuff. And so she's looking for, she wants to make lots of yarny friends. So, Go check her out because she's new and she could use the subscribers. I am at two. Don't let me lie to y'all. I think I'm at 287. I think I am. I'm real close to 290. 290 is only 10 away from 300. Seems like it's taken forever to get to 300. But that's okay. It's all right. It's, it's okay, I guess. So, tomorrow... Don't forget your 2020 if you did the 2020 challenge. Tomorrow's the day we do our videos. I've not recorded mine yet because I was trying to get it all done and so now I've got it done. I'm going to record it tomorrow. Um, is there any other shout outs I wanted to do? I've been following a lot of gardening and homesteading and taking gardening tips because I tried to make a garden this last summer and then I, you know, had the hernia going on and stuff so it did not happen. So I'm hoping that this year I can. I've got to get busy. Start throwing because eggshells and coffee grounds are good for the ground. I need to start throwing those out there instead of throwing them in the trash because they fertilize the ground and, you know, it, you should use your compost compostable stuff. Anyway, um, what else was that? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, that's a lizard. <laughs> yes, we have a bearded lizard, and she's apparently wants to escape. This cardboard. She can't, by the way, but yeah. she's trying to. Anyway. She's scratching the cardboard on the inside of the cage. That's weird. Yeah, we have part of our. It's part of the aquarium. Anyway. Yeah, aquarium. Sorry. Can you think of anything else we need to talk about? Mm. I ate healthy nope. today. I'm proud of myself. Remember I told you I was interested? I had... Ooh, dinner. I made pumpkin oatmeal. Well, I made that yesterday, but we had leftovers. And I did not use real sugar in it. And I love pumpkin. And oatmeal is a good carb. Like, it's a good... I need fiber. We won't talk about why. But... And so... Um, oatmeal is something I can eat without feeling real bad about it. And then... I did real good because for lunch I had a protein shake. I made me, a, I put um, vanilla protein powder, 
some PB2 and some avocado and milk in it and it was yummy. I really wanted a banana but we didn't have any and honestly the avocado couldn't taste it. It gave it almost a banana-y -y taste. I don't know how to explain it. It was pretty good. So, and, the, and avocado is a healthy fat. And then I had some cheese for a snack. And then tonight, because my twins are vegetarians and I make like, I make us meat I make two separate sometimes you know like them with us with meat them without but tonight I did not feel like doing two was busy crocheting so um I made black bean tacos black bean and a little bit of rice added to it to give it a little di different texture they came out really good well that's what I ate today those are that's all I've eaten so far so I'm real proud of myself because go healthy and made myself drink a huge glass of water so that my coffee didn't seem so bad. Um, oh, and um, I'll put the link to Scraptastic Yarn Podcast down below to her video. She's doing a crochet a lot, a, a cow that um, I've never made a shawl before and I've never done a crochet along. And so she's doing a scrap yarn shawl. She's already into the fourth part, but I just started today. I got part one because, you know, I'd lost my crojo, but I got all of part one done. So, yay, Jane, I'm doing it. I'm excited because I never made a shawl. Never done a cow, so I'm happy for all that. I'm hoping y'all can hear me because I forgot we had that heater on. So, there's that. I'm doing the Seda's place. I'm doing the hat. A month and she goes with the calendar calendar hats or how I don't know however she put it I'm doing that I'm doing the yarn bingo I'm not doing so great on my yarn bingo lately but um, I told myself I was just gonna mark off as I go and get stuff done um, I did not my friend will be leaving in a week exactly for Japan and she came to town today I did not have her grandbaby's doll done so maybe I can get it done sometime soon but the good thing is, because he's military, shipping it to him would be like shipping to the United States. So that's, I can ship it to them. She'll be there three weeks. I don't know how long it takes to get to Japan, but, you know, I can always mail it to them, even if she's not there. So I'm not going to push that one. I think I got tired of making dolls. And so I think that's part of what's, like, holding me back. So I'm doing that. The yarn bingo, I'm doing Seta. I'm doing the L, and I did my, um... Like I said, my spa set, my bath set, and then part of my 2020 will do my uh, chronically crocheting is doing a scrap buster because a lot of people are clearing out their scrap, their, their, you know, their yarn, they're this and they're not, they're going on a yarn band. I'm not, if I, somebody gave me a, told me to just go spend a hundred dollars on yarn, I would do that, but. I would share with you guys that are on a yarn band. I'd send some to you since you can receive. You just can't buy it. But, so, um, part, yeah. So, I will post that at, on her group also. So, I feel like I've got some things where I can feel like I'm, um, how do I put it? I'm joining in on some things I thought it's not really the word I was looking for but I can't think of it right now so I'm excited about that I don't know how well that'll go I did real good with vlogmas let's see if I like make a hat every month and to keep up with Seta and stuff or if I just like ugh, I don't know sometimes when I push myself to do a lot of certain things you know like I sometimes when I feel like I, I'm forced to do things and that's when I lose my crojo and my urge to do it so we'll see how it goes but right now I'm excited about the shawl and when the shawl's finished it will go to my friend uh, Priscilla's mom uh, she gets real cold and she could use something to wrap up in for dialysis so there you go anyway I think that's it I will have my 2020 tomorrow and um, then maybe tomorrow night I'll do my 2020 and then maybe tomorrow night if you guys feel up to it let me know in the comments if you want to do a live tomorrow night and maybe we'll do a live tomorrow night 
the hubby doesn't go to work till an hour later because you know anyway his job's messing with him but but I guess he could he could always go mess with some music in the in his little room in his cave or whatever or maybe join in a little while y'all thought he was cute he is pretty adorable if I do say so myself but so mwah, stay manic behave or, or don't do anything I would do well anyway um that leaves a lot out of being able to do stuff so and I want to say a special thank you to some ladies they know who they are and they I think they've helped me make it through this month so I love you all Mwah. good night